Well, this is a slightly different type of video, which will lead on to servicing on the next video. I've got in front of me six cheap and could be called toys, some could be called nasty, and some could be called surprising walkie talkies, hand portables, all from the 1981, 82, and 83 era of UK Citizens Band Radio and all working on our unique CB2781 system. All but one of these offers two channels and all but one of these offers squelch. I think the most standard of the cheap hand portables at the time has to be the Harvard 020 see if we can zoom in on that and it just offers on off volume a battery test there's an LED there telescopic aerial channel 14 and channel 30 squelch off and squelch on because with FM of course it makes a horrible racket if there's no squelch like that people in countries who are doing this where they use AM you haven't got the background noise uh, with AM that you have with FM so that I could say is possibly the most standard of these two channel sets and believe it or not that's got a, knob, a job number on it because this is booked in for repair so somebody is going to pay us to sort that out so that's going to be subject of a video now these others all belong to me and I don't even need to get them out of the box what do we have there? look, it's the Amstrad HCB1 and just like the Harvard, it's a similar circuit, but it's, it's, it appears to me to be cheaper manufacture. I've got the full service manual for this, I've got the full service manual for the Harvard. Going back to the Harvard, just recapping, we did range tests on these in 1984. Believe it or not, we got seven eighths of a mile in open country back to our range test vehicle on the Harvard 020. I seem to recall it's 200 milliwatts of output, one fifth of a watt. I seem to recall the Amstrad here, which also works on channel 14 and 30, also has switch squelch, also has a battery test, made in Hong Kong. I seem to recall that we got two and a half miles on the Amstrad's. 150 milliwatts. We found that astounding. The same circuit is used in the Harvard 104 convoy, the H7. Exactly the same as the Amstrad, just badge engineered, clearly come out of the same factory, still out of Hong Kong, channel 14 and 30. But it doesn't seem to be quite as well tuned is the Amstrad because I seem to recall we got something like two miles out of the Harvard 104 convoy which is still incredible moving to the Harrier which were done for Dixon's photographic now all amalgamated into the Curry's group came the Harrier WT1 and most of the Harrier sets were really good these work well too. Exactly the same as the Harvard 020. Channel 14, Channel 13, Switch Squelch. Made in Hong Kong. And I seem to recall in range tests we got something like three quarters of a mile on that particular one. These 150, 200 milliwatts. So let's move over to the Duet. You'd think it's exactly the same circuit, wouldn't you? It looks like the Harrier. The Harvard, there's also the Binatone Ranger 2. 
I think there's another one which just eludes me at times. But here comes the duet. This is duet 1 plus 1. Channel 14, channel 30, switch squelch. You would think it was exactly the same. Made in Hong Kong. Huh. You'd be wrong. In range tests on one of these, we got, I think it was 200 yards. And so we bought another sample. Oh yeah, I've still got it here. I'll go and fetch it. That's another one. We tuned it up. We got 200 yards. Just goes to show, doesn't it? They were all £24.95 type of range at the time. And then we have the realistic one. Well, I think I laughed my socks off when I saw this. I think it was 1983, it was £29.95, or was it even £39.95? Fixed on channel 20, PP3 battery, no squelch, no nothing. I thought, well, if we got seven eighths of a mile on the Harvard and similar on the Harv and, and on the Harrier, we got one mile, two miles, two and a half miles on the Amstrads and the and the Harvard um, H seven ten four convoy. I thought we got a few hundred yards on a duet. This is fifty milliwatts output. So we did the range test. We got three miles on it. We did the range test again. We got four miles on it. I did the range test on another sample three years ago and I got something like four and a half miles on it. I just can't believe it. And the realistic TRC 1003, 50 milliwatt, single channel, no squelch, semi toy hand portable, is going to be the subject of the next servicing video because we've got the full service manual.